What is going on everybody? This is Mr. Tony Stark and today I have a gameplay commentary for you. What? I haven't done one of these in forever since like one of my very first videos. Um, what you're going to be watching is some MP7 gameplay on the map Hijacked, some Kill Confirmed. It was one of the first games that I played on Saturday morning when they released the patch for Xbox 360. Now, um, immediately after I started playing, I don't know if I just had a better connection or if whether it had something to do with the patch. But I just was just going all over the place with this gun. The MP7 just seemed to be the gun to use uh, right after the patch, maybe because they dumbed down the PDW and everyone was still using some of the other guns that were, were still patched. Um, but I'm, I think I go 44 and 8. I get a ton of confirms. Um, we just dominate the other team. And like I said, it probably had something to do with the fact that we were running as like a full team and against people that were partied up and everything like that. But anyway, today I just wanted to... Um, to just do this commentary, you know, talk about the gameplay a little bit, talk about the, the patches and the things that were supposed to be taken care of and the things that actually were, and, uh, you know, just kind of just talk just about some some regular things, and I don't normally do that kind of stuff. So, hope you guys, are, you, you can, you know, finally maybe take a look at the gameplay, and uh, for once, enjoy that, and, and, you know, have a little listen. So, um, they were supposed to nerf the SMGs. That was one of the first things that they were supposed to do in the patch. Now, what they were, what they told us that they were going to do and what actually happened, um, you know, I don't, I don't really know if we're going to actually feel the full effect of it for, you know, a week or two until we really can uh, tell the difference. Uh, me, right off the start in this game, you'll see that I'm, as I'm running around with the, the MP7, I believe I'm using the laser sight, the foregrip, and uh, fast mag. Uh, that's mutant, my normal setup. Uh, actually, you know what? No, on, on the MP7, I use the uh, laser sight, the foregrip, and the uh, long barrel. And that's my normal setup just for that because it adds a little bit more accuracy. But with the MP7, it seemed that because they increased the recoil just a tad, that I was actually able to stay on target more than normal. As you can see, whenever I'm shooting, the, the gun seems to stay pretty level with the foregrip because I aim down sight a lot. Now, whenever you are firing from the hip with the SMGs, the the actually the, the spread pattern and the spray pattern of the bullets are going to be a little bit wider than they were. Before, you were pretty much able to run around the map and hip fire and just get like triple sprays, quad sprays just from firing from the hip. But now, you're going to see that aiming down the sight is going to help a lot more with SMGs. And that's going to be a big thing that you're going to want to remember if you are using an SMG or a rushing class. Um, another thing that you're going to want to do with these, you know, these balances and nerfs of this SMGs if you're a rushing style player is you're going to want to bring your kill streaks down a little bit. Uh, that's just a personal opinion. If you want to just rack up the kills, keep being able to uh, play the objective. Because if you're able to throw up, uh, you know, a hunter killer at, or a lightning strike, as you can see in this game, um, you're able to suppress the enemy basically to their spawn. The more people that you can can keep down, the more tags you're going to be able to pick up without being shot by one of the other teammates. And that's ultimately, um, you know, one of the biggest things that you're going to want to do is actually keep the, the enemy from shooting you while you're picking up the tags. You know, ultimately people just like to run and gun and kill confirmed and they like to kill whore. And that's okay. Uh, sometimes if you have a full party and you just want to do that, you can see, you know, we're racking up the tags. We could have probably taken this game and, and gone for a while after this and just, you know, kept going with it. But uh, ultimately, if you want to play the objective, you want to get the game over with as soon as possible. I think this kill confirm game lasts about six and a half minutes. You're going to want to pick up tags. You're going to want to have a lot of kill streaks and a lot of different things running. So if you have a full party, I recommend that, you know, everyone choose a, a different setup. You know, a couple people can run the same things, but, um, you know, I, I like Hunter Killer, UAV, and Lightning Strike. It just gives you the most amount of suppression, and you can get to your kill streaks over and over and over and over again. I get the Lightning Strike like three or four times at least. You know, Hunter Killer, the entire game, you're, you're going to get at least a kill, if not, a, you know, a UAV pretty much every time you throw that thing up, and that's going to be awesome. That's going to be imperative for your team uh, doing well. And, you know, as you can see, I'm just kind of running around rushing this map. Because this map is so small, they really, you know, even though they did they did uh, take down the, the you know, the accuracy, I guess, of the SMGs, because the map's so small, you can rush with an SMG such as the MP7 or even the PDW, even though they, they you know, built up the recoil, they increased the recoil on that and the MSMC there. You can do that and still be able to rush be in the enemy spawn if you're running with a full team and uh and, and it i don't know it just works out really well 
Um, so personally, just from the SMG point of view, I, I like the fact that they nerfed it. I like that they brought it down. It gives the game a little bit more balance. People are going to want to use other assault rifles if they haven't started to do that already. Um, that it's it's going to be a big thing, in my opinion, that they're trying to you know bring the balance down. I don't know if they fixed the connection. I really haven't had too many lag issues as far as that goes since they patched it. I don't know what they did, whether it's just the, the matchmaking aspect of it or how they did that, um, but... You know, I, I really haven't had too many problems, and I, that makes me happy because, you know, with all the problems that we've had since this game came out with league play, with matchmaking and, and getting disconnected, you know, now we have a few new problems, but ultimately a lot of the problems that we were complaining about, they're, they've are they been taken care of, and, you know, to me that's that's awesome. You know, a couple of the other things that they, they took care of was the uh, bouncing Bettys. Apparently... Now, it's a little easier to uh, to escape them. The blast radius isn't as big, and they don't jump up quite as fast. I think it's not, like, anything significant, but it is something that, you know, if you're running and you're sprinting, you can get down a little quicker and avoid them because I don't know about you, but I am always getting hit by Bouncy Betty. If I don't, you know, run uh, Tactical Mask or uh, not Tactical Mask, I guess, Engineer, um, you know, I can't see them. I, I don't. I just something uh, something about it. I don't know if it's the fact that I'm partially colorblind or what, but I can't see them on the ground a lot of times. So I just run right over them, and if I'm not paying attention, I get killed by them a lot. Um, but yeah. So anyway, I hope you guys are, are you know have enjoyed this. Little, you know, this is actually a gameplay commentary. It's not my style. It's not normally what I do. Um, but I, I wanted to show you. This was like like I said, my first game after the patch, and it really seemed to uh, to change how I was playing the game. It felt like Modern Warfare 3 for me. It really felt like I was going back to uh, you know my my ownage days. I don't know. I was really good at Modern Warfare 3, but as you can see, 44 and 8 with 30 confirms and 4 denies in, in game of kill confirmed, and we just ran over the other team. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or have any thoughts on the patch, please feel free to let me know. If you like this video, please feel free to leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. And uh, as always, if you're new around here, check out the rest of my videos and uh, let me know if you like it. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.